In this video, we are going to cover a very interesting and important topic that's what we call dependency injection. It is not only important in AngularJS but doesn't matter which technology you are working on when you are working on software development, dependency injection will play a very important role. So let's see, along with dependency injection, what we are going to see, we'll first understand what dependency injection, in short DI is all about, and then the features of dependency injection. So basically, dependency injection is a software design pattern. As we have something called solid principle while working with any object oriented based development in which S stands for single responsibility. So we need to make sure whenever we are making any chunk of code it should go for a single responsibility so that we can use that anywhere as an independent unit. All right? And when we integrate that particular part with another one it will be a complementary and bigger task. So that is what about a single responsibility. If you will put something, uh, multiple responsibility over a block, maybe you will not be comfortable enough to reuse that. Maybe you want only one of the functionality out of it, maybe, but you are getting multiple. So this is how you can go for single responsibility, which we have seen in the functions also. Now, there is also one principle in solid that is called dependency inversion, that is the D in solid all right and this is where dependency injection comes into the picture which states like rather than providing the hard coded value we will give the proper value through our dependency all right probably suppose we have created a service which will evaluate a value and we will pass that particular value in a controller so this service will be like a dependency for my controller in this if I will make any configurational changes, maybe in the service, it will make no effect in my controller. It will keep on working as it is. All right. So that also makes your code loosely coupled. All right. So let's see what is here. It is a software design pattern. Components are given their dependencies, no values. All right. That simply means that we will not provide the hard coded values. Make dependency configurable. If you will make the changes in any of the service or any of the dependency, it will not affect your specific, let's say, controller. All right. And that makes your code reusable, maintainable and testable. For example, you just want to go for a single task to be tested. You don't need to go for the complete controller for testing it. You can simply do the testing for that individual block. Similarly, if it is separated code, you can easily maintain the different codes as well and you can reuse the services or the components in other controllers as well. For example, suppose I have created a, a service which is doing some mathematical operation. So you can do the same mathematical operation with multiple controllers which may be rendering in the different views. All right. So you don't need to repeat your task again when you are working with dependency injections. So let's see what we are we want to say here. Here you can see I have created a code without dependency injection. So here what you will see I have created a code add employees all right inside which I have put the hard coded values like John and manager. So every time this add EMP would be called here in this function, the same values would be rendered. And if I want to change the value, I have to change the definition of the function, all right, which is not done actually. So if I want to do the same implementation with the dependency injection, let's see what we will do. You see, this add EMP function is independent of any hard coded value. Rather, it is provided the dependency, not value as we saw the point right so here you see in add emp we have passed an object and this is an object where you are passing the values so next time when you are creating another object you can use different values but the thing is your method definition will not be changed right so this is a very simple example where i used a simple javascript program for showing the dependency injection benefit right in angular.js we can also implement the dependency injection which will give us the same benefits right 
it's a built-in dependency injection mechanism as we have seen in the services we create the service maybe we get the predefined service like HTTP or uh, route provider all right these are service itself all right and we can use them inside any configuration and any controller so this is what the mechanism of in de uh, dependency injection which is actually by default carried by AngularJS it allows to define the app divide the application in smaller blocks we have already discussed about it smaller modules can be injected into each other all right as i said the service can be consumed by any controller or any route provider can be consumed by any configuration that is what all about now uh, make the modularization easily obviously we will be creating this small modules so our application will be modularized here we have five different ways to implement the dependency injection over angular js that is value in case you want to create a variable constant when you want to create a member which doesn't change the value factory and service we have already seen but yes we will see it again here in the dependency injection and the provider one of the very versatile way to create a factory all right so these are the five methods which we have let's go quickly and see the implementation of them so here as the first implementation of dependency injection here we can see that we have used the value function using which you can initialize a particular variable like number value string value object value anything with a particular value like here I have taken three the string number and the object and whichever you want to use in your program rather than using the hard-coded value you can simply refer as one of the members from here itself like here I have used this I have taken a controller in which along with the scope I have also used the number value so whatever number you have initialized it here you can use it in the controller and similarly you can uh, reflect the output in the view from this controller as we used to do so as earlier we have used the value function for initializing any variable with a particular value similarly if you want to create a value which should be constant so for that we can use the constant uh, method for dependency injection we use the con uh, constant values for whenever we want to make any configuration like in the routing program in the single page application we configured the routing things so here I just take a sample right it is not a real life project but yes uh, this is how we can use the constant value whenever we want to work with a configuration like here something config value is the name of my uh, constant with a particular value alright which can be passed to any config function for making the configuration so here uh, right after in this config uh, function in any of the service right what whichever you are uh, configuring like earlier we have used the route provider service for the configuration so whichever service you are using just pass the config as the function and uh, right there you can use the value in whatever way you want right so this is just a raw structure you can do the implementation as per your requirement whenever you want to go for the constant so now in the context of dependency injection we have another method called factory we have already seen the implementation of factory in the services where we created an object we bound some methods to that and then we return a complete object since it's a factory you can use the way you want so here what I have done is I have taken uh, the number value uh, in which we have used the value method and we are using that same value here in this dependency right as a dependency uh, in the factory method all right so here's a factory name called my factory you pass a function in which you are already using a dependency called number value all right and uh, you just return that particular value by concatenation with this string value all right so after that you can use this factory my factory along with your controller and you can utilize that in any of your web page as you already know that how to you consume a controller in any of the views so this is how you can implement the dependency injection using factory method now 
let's continue about the dependency injection and here we are going to discuss about the service method as we have seen earlier like so service method will give you a single object you don't need to define that you don't need to return that you already have the implicit object here which you can access by using this keyword so you can associate as many as methods or properties you want with this all right so now here what I have done is I have just bind a method called do it and just print a message in the console like done all right so it's just a simple implementation you can define the functionalities whatever you want to do and once you are done with this you can associate this service my service along with the controller and you can call the service inside which is methods inside and you we know like how we can pass the value using the scope object to any of the view all right so this is how you can work with the service method in dependency injection all right so finally here we can see the final method for creating the dependency injection in angular js that is the provider mesh method uh, provider seems to be the most flexible way to create any factory or any dependency injection in the angular js like here you can see first of all i have taken the provider object right here inside the service provider that's the name of my service which i i'm creating using provider and right here with this particular provider object uh, you can associate as many as functionality you want by using this get that's a single service that is used and inside this you can associate as many as objects you want like here we have taken an object called service and have uh, bind a particular functionality called do service right here inside all right so you can add as many as objects inside and or as many as functionality to each object which you want and finally you'll have to return each and every object from inside like here i return the service and finally once you are done with all you'll have to return the complete object so by the time we will be consuming this service called uh, service provider all right we can call that relevant service along with this provider all right so here you can see i have linked that service provider service of provider function in this controller and have invoked this function so whatever task is there we can see it in the view so this is how you can implement the dependency injections in angular js